So I'm going into where I can see so the lighter areas just to get me started. to need a bit of a more stick here for this so I'm going to go back in sharpen up that edge with my pencil hopefully I won't need to recorrect and I'll get this right so that's the blue down first and now the black on the top now some makes of pencils aren't that easy to get rid of and they're not that easy to blend either. This particular set of Derwent and they're not bad actually for either. Make sure I don't come down too far with this. So I need to pay attention. So if I stop talking it really is because I need to pay attention. So I'm going to stop that about there. And create the rolled edge. That's actually a little bit too dark to do a rolled edge with. And this one looks a little bit too light, but we'll do for now. Okay, so I'm now just going to put a few of the details on the glass. Okay. Just a few details just to start us off. Back to the dark grey gone. Okay, so I want a few pencils in my hand so I can flip backwards and forwards between them. Okay, so I'm starting to build just small details here that give me the shape of this glass. That's really what I'm looking for, is to be able to create my glass area.
Okay, so again, I'm going to use some of the pencils for the really fine detail, but I will be flitting backwards and forwards between these and my traditional sticks. Mm. Okay, so we're going for a bit of the reflection. So I'm just going to use the pencil just to map that out for the minute. Now don't go too heavy handed with your pencils, whatever you do. Okay, we'll go back with some of that and then get a little bit darker with the block. Okay, so it is starting to sh take shape now. And this is going to be the long process of trying to create a three dimensional object from this. So we are going to go, go at it quite slowly. I'm going to add some extra colours into the glass. It still isn't white, this is actually light blue. So I'm using the, the light blue as a lighter area rather than going straight to white. So again, I'm, I'm really forcing myself not to use white. You see, just using this light blue actually works very well as a highlight colour to start you off. Now, I've got quite a light edge to come in here. Remember, we can subtract any background or any mistakes from the edges using the background. So don't worry if we go over our lines because we can do things about that later on. So I'm now going with a slightly lighter pencil, get me some sharper edges. Now 
I know a lot of you will want to spend a great many hours at this stage with these pencils if you have them. Try not to rely solely on the pencils. Okay, we need more pastel to be delivered to this paper, which can only be done really with the, the sticks. And remember, if you don't have the pastel pencils, or worse, you can't sharpen them, then remember, you can actually use a brush, but that can't be removed. So make sure you get everything in the right place before you go in with brush and white spirit or low odour spirit. I suggest you stick to the low odour if you've got it. So take your time on these areas. These are going to be your key areas that will probably be your main focus. Well, they certainly are for me. So like I said, you can do whatever subject matter you want. You don't have to follow me, just something similar. And I'm going to keep pausing so you get time to catch up. Now some of you may not even be in my mixed painting and drawing classes. Some of you may just be the watercolour classes, but I do suggest that you, you really sit, watch this and try some of these, because I know some of you have the pastels even though it's not your main media. So please do try. Okay, so. Oops. Made a muck up there. there so I can take that back out so all these little intricate areas are going to take quite some time so again I'm going to stop the video and let you get on to catch up okay so we're back and hopefully you've had time to catch up with me so I'm just gonna go back with my pencils again and again I'm just tightening up some of the lines You notice I'm still not using white, I am still using pale blue for some of these lighter areas. Now, the thing you can do with the pencils <coughs> is to use it as a blending tool as you come round, or in my case, as I come round, I'm using this to blend a couple of the layers together without actually delivering this light blue. Now 
what else? I'm going to be picking up other colours from elsewhere. <clears throat> I can introduce those as I'm going. But for the minute, I'm just using these two just to create a blend. So this will create different, slightly different tones and subtle areas just by um, using the pencils in small circular motions to blend them. I think I want to add a little bit more colour. So these are subtle colours, as you can see. They're not jumping out at me. Although, looking at the colour, you might think that would happen. But actually, when you start to layer pastels, that very rarely happens. Uh, because you will be mixing some of the things from below. So... You have to be very aware of your colour theory. Okay, so it's very subtle colour going on. also noticed that I've actually changed the shape very slightly again because um, I'm not happy with the shape I had. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to need to remove an area there. I've just come out just a little too far, so I'm just going to rub that down just a fraction. Remember what I said, keep moving yourself back so you can see what's happening in your painting rather than being this close all of the time. Keep moving back. So I'm just finally putting some of the, the lighter areas. This still isn't as light as we, I need to go. <clears throat> but I want to spend a little extra time at this stage just getting the actual um, shapes that I need to actually create something beveled. Green 
into the housing. I'm actually going to get a little bit of white out. To give me a slightly lighter passage through there. Coming out a bit further than I actually need to and I'll subtract to the better shape once I'm ready to. I just want to get some of these colours in. Seems we've got them used here, there is going to be some reflection of it up there, so that's what I'm doing. toning down but it's a good start okay so we're gonna blend these down with the pencil So again, I'm just using small strokes to blow these down a little bit. And remember, you are optically mixing. Can't stress that enough. So you need to remember what happens when you put one colour with another. Now some of the pastels will actually surprise you when you put one against another.
it as with anything shiny, you're going to have to slow yourself down and actually start looking at what you can actually see. Um, not always obvious what you're actually looking at as a reflection. But literally you need to be just looking into those reflections and only paint exactly what you see. Don't deviate from it. Many of the reflections that you see, especially in chrome, will actually be relatively angular. It should really be quite easy to replicate. So again, don't overthink the process, just go with what you actually see. So this is slowly coming together. It's, uh, it's a very slow process doing this, but it's worthwhile in the end if you just slow yourself down once you get to this stage. Take a few steps back and keep looking at where you're going. So it's slowly coming together, I'm just going to step back, have a good look, make sure I'm not overdoing because that's just as easy to do and then I want to rectify my shape. So I'm going to come back into here. Now, if you get to a point where you know you need a real dark and you've got too much light under it, just literally go back with a very warm putty rubber. I tend to leave mine sitting on the radiator. So I want this to be really dark, so I will remove some of that so that I can just get the shape of what I want. So then we adjust this area. Now the pastel pencils, as you notice, I'm using a black, but it's not anywhere near as black as the actual pastel itself. If I actually use the pastel itself, you'll see it's so much darker. So 
so you can see that it's, it's a great deal darker than it is with a pastel pencil which is why I'm not always in a rush to use a pastel pencil to do all these things. So now I've got it reasonably dark. I'll continue back with the reshaping up here for this elliptical shape. And some of that edge is still going to have to come back out so I'm not too worried about that I can do all of that just by putting the background back in Okay, nearly there. So I'll change that grey, blend that through. Let's add a little bit more blue to this. So remember, my, my blue I'm using is indigo. It, it works quite well on a lot of things. blue up here before I go back in with the slightly lighter areas again. So I'm really going backwards and forwards and making sure that I've got all the things I need in the right places. Blue, I think.
just going to use white pencil, although this white probably won't come out as a bright white, only your actual stick will, I can at least start to create some of the lighter lines over the top so it's still blending all of the time with the colour underneath. that was a little bit too much so I need to take that back down again should be quite so dark there yeah, quite so light even So, I want you all to keep working, pause the video and join me in a little while. <laughs> 